Look, we should probably get back to work. Shut up. Just... Let me catch my breath. Buddy, we've been sitting in this mud since time immemorial. We've all caught our breath. I think there's a bug in my shoe. His head exploded. It was his own fault. The scientist went meddling where he shouldn't have. He was our friend. To be fair to the devil up there, Matthew did go inside. Try to kill us. Whatever is now inhabiting the headless body of Matthew Prescott is currently loose in our world. The longer we spend here, the more damage he can do. What are we gonna do? Shoot him in the head? We'll stop him the same way that he stopped us. We don't even know he did that! If the boy wants to stay here, then we should stay here. He knows better than the rest of us. We're facing unfathomable evil. Matt was possessed by radio frequencies from deep space. There is no logic to this. No deduction, no earthly investigation. Well, then I would be thankful that we're currently not on Earth. Yeah, maybe it's better here, in the mud. At least here our friends' heads don't explode. Stevie, we, we don't have any friends here. Uh, do you remember where we were last weekend? Yeah, we met Norma at the Dino Diner. It went well. Our life puts her in danger. She's better off without us. But we like her. Selfish. Enough. Our romantic interest in Norma is currently not important. The fact is that Norma is already in danger. Everyone on Earth is. There will be more taken. More Matthews. What if we're not good enough? Nobody ever is. But we push on anyways. To be strong is to fight for love itself in every waking moment. To take things one step at a time. Alright, alright. Just have to find a way out of the swamp first. There's a lighthouse over there that I just noticed. 